You're watching Marsha, Marsha, Marsha on VeroBuzzTV.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Vero Buzz TV. I'm Marcia Littlejohn, and I am here with Marianella Tobar. And I have to tell you, Marianella, when you walked in with your precious daughter, I thought we need to get her on television too. Next time, Mary, uh, what is her name? Ashley. Ashley. Next time, she will. Right here. In fact, you could sit right here and do the show. Oh. That would be fun. Yes, because she is so adorable. But Marianella, I have to tell you that when you walked in, I was thinking, oh gosh, you'd almost walk in doing a Latin dance. You are a dance instructor, are you not? Yes, I am. I am a professional ballroom and Latin dance instructor uh, since I remember. I mean, my whole life has been just dancing since it, it, I remember. It really helps. Now, what about your precious Ashley? Does she She dance? started with some ballet. Uh-huh. But, ballet. yeah, but she kind of gave up a little bit because she's into more drawing and uh, computer designing and all of that. How yes. fabulous. And she Boy. reads a lot. See, so that's wonderful. Said, well, that and a little music as well. And, of course, <laughs> we're going to get her on the show sometime for definitely. But you do teach beginners, and you yes. teach for competition as well. That's exactly right. So what I do mostly is to teach people just to how to have fun and just mm -hmm. to go out there and just to be themselves, and, and that's it. And then if somebody wants to continue their education and dance and go and compete, so that as well so because you do much competition you do compete yes. you have been with vero stars and, yes. and of course you're working with with the other dancers as well but in many cases when you start learning to dance mm -hmm. you can go forward with theater with so right. many different activities can't you that's exactly right so i mean dancing it has so wide variety to what to do with it in my personal case you know i I love to teach people just to be themselves, just to have fun, just to go out. So many of them, they're just afraid to stand up in front of people and just to do a couple of movements. Some of them, they want to go be on stage, like Dancing with the Stars. The, I was with Beer Beach, and then I was with Stuart, and we're going to be in the store again this coming year, in three weeks, actually. And some of them just want just to go to competition, real competitions. Oh boy! Yes. And, and that's there, something else. There is else. a lot of real competition. We're going to talk about that in just a moment. But when, how old were you when you really loved to, to dance? When you started thinking, "This is what I really want to do." Uh, since I remember, I mean, it was I the think music that you listened to. Was everything, everything, just just watching in TV people dancing and see them in stage and having fun and just expressing themselves yes. through the music, using their body just to. Put those that body to the music. The body does. Uh, music doesn't have a body, and actually, we can give them a body. And improvising, just exactly. moving around. Just the other day, I was listening to some old time music, and yet it was it was really more of the slow music, and it was some of that wonderful old. Uh, well, Fox it was in the probably. still of the night, it was one of them. Then we just went over to the Space Coast Symphony and listened mm -hmm. to some of their jazz that was absolutely wonderful. Right. And you think, what music can do for everyone? We're going to take a little break and then come back with Marianella Tobar. And she's going to be talking about how you, too, can be a part of the dance world and what it really can do for you and your children. Okay. And talk about a little bit of wh with whom you have danced, okay. which is kind of fun as well. So everybody All stay right. with us. We will be right back with Marianella Tobar. She is a professional Latin and ballroom dancer and instructor. Don't go away. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach in Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. And continuing right along with Marianella Tobar talking about dancing and not only the importance of dance and movement and music, but you have a dance studio, if I'm not mistaken. Well, actually, I rent the studio to uh -huh. Joe and Sherry. That is oh. just here in the 14th Avenue. Oh, well, of they, course. They are great friends of mine. So what I do is whenever I have to teach a private so or whenever I have to do any type of event, so I talk to them and they uh, rent me the space for 
And that's right so here, time right, that right I need here it. on 14th Avenue. Yes. And it, it's called the Dance Sensation. Swing Station. Swing Station. Yes. Swing Station. So I had fun. I inter interviewed both of them after yes. Dancing with the Stars. And it just seems that, that just, just to understand the importance of music. That's but exactly what I right. loved here is that you really teach all the Latin movements. What is, what is the difference between the Latin dance and maybe just... Do we even say jitterbug anymore? <laughs> we do, yes. <laughs> well, now it's more um, what is East Coast swing and West Coast swing. Uh, we have the jive, that's European the jive, version. Yes. Yeah, the jive is more bouncing and mm -hmm. kicking. Uh, swing, East Coast is more, we don't have the kicks. No kicks. The, no kicks, like in jive. Okay. So I teach uh, from swing to cha cha cha. Salsa, social dances like um, bachata and merengue, um, and as well Argentine tango. Oh yes, the music is so much fun. It is. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And as well, I do ballroom like, for example, foxtrot, uh, waltz, Viennese oh, waltz. Listen to that. She's saying it with a scowl on her face. So I want you to know. <laughs> <laughs> it is just so. <laughs> it's, it's old time, old time, right? But it there is, is something movement when they when they go around. There's something lovely about the way they can move together when you teach people to really work with another person. So if yes. someone's watching right now and they would love to learn the, the different classic Latin dances, right. how would they get in touch with you? Okay, so they can go to Facebook and uh, you can just you know send me a little message in and that's gonna be it. Or you can call me as well to my cell phone. Okay, but if they went to Facebook, do they mm -hmm. just look up Marianella? Marianella Tobar, that's it, yes. Marianella Tobar, just exactly like it sounds. It's spelled just like it sounds. And what I love, and mm -hmm. I don't know how much time we have left on this particular segment, but we yeah, we gotta wrap this up, but we're gonna mm -hmm. come back and I want you to talk to me about the fitness yes. of dance, because that is gonna be very, very important. How you can that's right. do all of this fitness. You don't have to go out there and, and lift weights and do all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Just keep moving with that wonderful dance routine and we'll talk yeah. about that as well. So stay with us, everybody. We're going to be talking again and continuing with Marianella Tobar about different dance fitness classes. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics in downtown Vero Beach. Owner Patty Callahan prints it all from color and black and white copies to blueprints, banners, signs, prints of paintings, and fine art. Patty makes restorations and creates outstanding graphic designs. Call Patty at 770-1521 or stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics at 2345 14th Avenue. Stop by for all of your printing needs at Patty's Printing and Graphics across from the old railroad station in downtown Vero Beach. Well, wrapping up in this final segment of uh, this program that I'm doing right now with very, very distinguished dancer, someone who has been dancing for quite some time, as you said, since yeah. you can remember, Marianella Tobar, and how you can become a fitness dancer. Because really, what is the best dance, do you think, Marianella, that would really get somebody into not having to do all those exercises all the time, just <laughs> dance? What would it be? Well, usually people, what they like is or salsa. Salsa. Ain't, yeah, salsa. How that's, do you that's describe, the first describe salsa? I thought it was something oh, you put it's on a hamburger. fan, energetic, eh, sexy. <laughs> so pretty much everything in one, one dance. But are any of these dances... Human people can't understand me. Uh-oh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but let me ask you something, though. Is, is there maybe a dance that is more appropriate by themselves to dance or a little more difficult to dance with someone else as I, a partner? No, I think salsa and bachata, they're really easy to cha -cha. follow. Yeah, bachata. Bachata is another oh. salsa, as I'm sorry, a social dance, really easy to follow. So in my dance fitness class, I have pretty much every single dance. I have routines from sal salsa, cha-cha-cha, jive, west coast. We cool down with a little bit of uh, waltz or <laughs> cool rumba. Down. Cool so, down with a little, well, yes. why not jitterbug? We do. We have the jive, actually. The, oh, the jive, jive, yes. Okay, but that's kicking. But it's just really good. Put your heart. Oh yes, I see. For yes, fitness. this is dance for fitness. fitness. Okay. So yeah. So we have, you know, every single dance has a different. We move different muscles in our body. Sure. Wrong by a lot How of core. How can somebody who's watching right now say, mm -hmm. "I want to take a fitness class okay. with Marinella Tobar"? How do they do that? Okay. So I can promise that. Anything, every single diet is going to target different muscles. If we do the rumba, it's a lot of core. 
if we do the jive, a lot of cardio, a lot of um, bouncing, and we're gonna be using a lot of our legs, sure. fights. Um, if we go down with a little Argentine tango, a lot of balance, upright, having good posture. So pretty much every single routine that I have is gonna target different I muscles love it. in your body. Sure. And you're having fun as well. Absolutely. 100%. And where do you ha where do you hold the fitness classes? 14th Avenue, Swing Station. Okay, yes. and so anybody who really wants to know about the date and time or, or get a group together, they can just simply... They just can go. Just it's Monday, Wednesdays, oh. and Fridays, uh, 9 in the morning from 9 to 10. From 9 to 10. Yes. One hour of fabulous yes. fitness, but having wonderful fun and right. listening to good music and with an instructor such as yourself. Right, it's gonna be just me teaching and you don't need to have any type of background in dance. So this is gonna feed beginners, it's gonna feed uh, more advanced dancers. Sure. Uh, Cause you know, what I do for a living is teaching people how to dance and how to have fun. So I'm gonna get you to that point. You just come, and, and be fit as and well. And that's it. And be fit as well. Absolutely. All right, what about, are we talking about young people? Or are we talking about the elderly? Any any age. I have, in summertime, I have a lot of young kids. So seven, eight oh, years old. And then what we about have. Ashley? Does Ashley, oh, no, you said Ashley didn't She really used dance. to. She used to dance with me. I bet, I mean, she, <laughs> I bet she will. She'll go through that stage and then love She will, dance. yeah. Absolutely. And then I have ladies that they are, two of them, they are, one is like in their 80s. Oh, really? Yes. So, so I can I do just it. adore that. All right. It's, it's just fabulous. Anybody can go, of course. Well, you know, when we sat there and listened to the jazz uh, music with the Space Coast Symphony, there was a, an, a lady who was probably just a little bit older than I sitting across the aisle, mm -hmm. and her toes didn't stop. I mean, yes. that rhythm was so, you could tell that music, it just, it brings brings life back to That's you. exactly right. The major point is having fun and you want to do your best. That's it. Just Absolutely. come, try your best, open mind, be happy, and I'll take you to the next step. And the idea there is you're not only going to be happy, Mary and Ella will take you to the next step, but you will also be happy and healthy. And that is the key, as well as being fit. Boy, oh boy, Marianella, you've made me want to go over there and take some dance yeah. classes. Boy, but because you worked with... I used to work with uh, Lily Stefan because we have Dancing with the Stars, Latin version on TV, Univision. Oh. So she used to come to me and ask me to help her out with uh, judging. Oh, like, with judging, yes. So, well, yeah. there you get a little credibility <clears throat> there, too, but there's a lot, <laughs> a lot to go. But I have to tell you, a professional Latin and ballroom dancer and instructor, Marianella Tobar, has been my guest on this particular show of Vero Buzz TV. Good Thank to you see very you. much. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I feel like we should be going out with some good music. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Attention. This important message is for any American who is about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nation's Helpline has Medicare supplement insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare supplement insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nation's Helpline Medicare supplement team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the show. I am indeed Marcia Littlejohn and I am here with Art Chaska and Art happens to be the CEO of, and I want to get this one right because it's Suncoast Mental Health Center. And I mean, I have to say this gentleman has worn so many hats in our community and it's always fun to be able to talk about your efforts and what you're doing and this has to be so special for you, isn't it, Suncoast Mental Health? It, it truly is. I mean, when we're talking about mental health, and particularly we're dealing mostly with children. Oh, yes. And later I want to do some, share some statistics about children and, and mental health, but it's such important work. You know, we keep using the, the expression, we're saving and changing lives. And that truly is the case mm -hmm. when we talk about mental health and some of the things that can result from untreated or undertreated mental health disorders. Or even misunderstood. Exactly. You know, it exactly. just seems to me there are so many different things that we don't realize 
see some behaviors that, and then all of a sudden, because of some horrible, horrific thing that happens, we say, why didn't we recognize that? So what you're doing, of certainly spreading the word, and as we know, May was Mental Health Awareness Month, um, and you did a lot of uh, discussion about that at that time, didn't you? We did. Um, Suncoast Mental Health Center is a, is a four-county organization. Here in Indian River County, um, we have an office in Vero Beach on Old Dixie Highway, just south of 16th Street. And so we did proclamations in all four of the counties, in many of the cities in those counties also. And again, we're trying to create more education, more awareness and knowledge about mental health disorders. Because as we said before the show, Marsha, it truly is misunderstood. I, I always share with people, I graduated with my bachelor's degree at age 22 in education, uh -huh. and I knew nothing about mental illness. I, I knew nothing about it. And I, I don't think I was the, only, uh, the exception to the rule. I think most people, uh, we don't do a good job as a society teaching people about mental health disorders and resources and what they can do. Do you know, it's very interesting because just recently I was speaking with Barbara Hammond and we were talking about the development, of course, with that moonshot moment and the development of a child's brain. I've had numerous requests to do satellite interviews with individuals all over the country that are talking about what they are discovering now about the brain and that the timing and, to, and what we can do and how we can recognize things and what was causing this. So when we talk about educating the, the public, you were mentioning with children, the statistics that are just so so alarming as well. We're going to talk about that, but we also want to talk about in November, because you did, if I'm not mistaken, didn't you just have a fabulous event? We did, back in November at Grand Harbor, but also in Stewart at Starstruck Studios there. We brought in a lady named Tanya Brown. Yes. And she is one of the sisters of Nicole Brown Simpson. And we did an event called Finding Peace Amid the Chaos. And Tanya Brown spoke about her depression her suicide attempt, oh. but more importantly, her recovery, and then ways any of us can have a better state of mental well-being. So We're, we are doing that again in this November. Great, because this is what I want to do. I want to have you hold that thought. We're going to take a little break and then come back and really expound on that and expand on the conversation, because I think everyone who missed that luncheon because I was so hoping to be there. I think we were out of town at the time, and it was just something so phenomenal. It's Suncoast, actually, is it Suncoast? Yes, Suncoast Mental Health Center that we're talking about. Art Chaska is my guest, and we will be, of course, continuing our discussion with Art regarding what many people can recognize, understand, and what we have learned about mental health. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Oh, those boys are much too much. Those boys are much too much. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We're going to beat them and bust them. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Okay, Simon, what do people wear? Clothes. That's right. So it's important to learn how to dress yourself. Here's how it's done. Shirt, underwear, pants, socks, shoes. Underwear, always first, name tag on the back. Then pants and shirt. Go ahead and put this on. Now with the shirt, you want to make sure the first button's right or you have to start all over again, okay? Socks left on left, right on right. Tying the shoes, we're going to take the laces, we're going to cross them over, we're going to turn around where the bunny goes down in the hole. Pull it tight and bunny ears. Got it? Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier. And it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. And welcome back. I told you it was only going to be 60 seconds, and we would be right back with my guest, Art Chaska, CEO of Suncoast Mental Health Center. And really, as you say, you really cover all four counties. Mm -hmm. So you're getting the word out. May was Mental Health Awareness Month, but that fabulous event you had last November uh, with, and I guess really not many people realize, she was the brother or the sister of... Nicole Brown Nicole Simpson. Nicole Brown Simpson. The O.J. Simpson case 21 yes. years ago now, believe it or Golly. not. Golly. Actually, 20, yeah, 21 years ago is correct. Did the episode with O.J. Simpson and her sister, is that what threw her over or, and made her want to commit suicide? She, you know, it, it's a pretty complex thing, but it, certainly that was a big part of it. I yeah. mean, her sister was slaughtered on the street, you know, by a, a, a person, we believe, who Tanya referred to as Uncle O.J., yeah. even though she was her sister's boyfriend and then yeah. husband, but Tanya was much younger. 
and uh, Tanya was 22 or 23 at the time. But Tanya lost a couple of other close friends oh. too. And, um, and so she did go into an inpatient psychiatric facility in California for about 10 days mm -hmm. and then was outpatient. But she went on to get her master's degree, wrote an amazing book called Finding Peace Amid the Chaos, My Escape from Depression and Suicide. And um, we brought her here to Vero and, and, and Stewart, and oh, she spoke, and what an amazing speaker. She sold it out at Grand Harbor, which oh, is Oh, I wonderful. would imagine. I yeah. would imagine so. But I think what you're also doing with Suncoast Mental Health Center is really spreading the word that it, you can get help. You can get help, and it can, it can work. A lot of people think it's just too late. You know, sometimes when we talk about it, and we did just recently talk with Barbara Hammond about the child's development in the brain and how important it is to really keep that stimulated. Don't let summer months, you know, go by with, with letting the brain drain come in. But when you're talking about our mental health and understanding some of these behaviors, you were talking about some statistics with children. So I want to talk a little bit about that as well. Yeah, you know, one of the statistics to me that's pretty disturbing is that if you look at youth between the ages of 8 and 18, one in five of them, 20% of those children, have a mental health disorder that's severe enough to cause a significant impairment in their day-to-day -day lives. Wow. So if you think of, okay, if somebody in that age group, 8 to 18, what's their day-to-day -day life involved? And for nine, ten months out of the year, it's school. So if you think of a child with a mental health disorder in a learning environment, what, what, what studies are showing is children with a mental health disorder are failing more classes, they're missing more days of school, they're earning a lower grade point average, and they're being retained at grade level more than any other disability group. So when we think of something like the Moonshot Moment, which is a wonderful, mm. wonderful endeavor here in Indian River County for the third graders, Think about what about the kids who have that mental health disorder, which could be ADHD, attention mm -hmm. deficit, hyper hyperactivity disorder. Or just grief, heavy grief. Depression, anxiety, grieving, all of the challenges going on for that child. While it's a great lofty goal, which we want to strive for, that moonshot moment, we've got to address those mental health needs of the children. Absolutely. And that is, of course, I think part of, this is why it's just phenomenal that we did have Barbara Hammond talking about this because we were talking about that brain development and how if you don't sit and talk with your child, those children that are just sitting there, they can become mentally uh, incapable because if they're, if they're not treated like, like human beings, and yet, yet there are children who are left by themselves some of them come out of it fine, but boy, talk about the DNA, it's always different in everybody. We're going to talk about more about our mental health, and of course that is with our Sun Coast Mental Health Center. Art Chaska is my very distinguished guest, and we're going to talk about the up and coming. You're going to have another... Another, another event in November at Grand Harbor again, Finding Peace Fabulous. Amidst the Chaos. Finding Peace Amidst the Chaos. Mm -hmm. Boy, couldn't we all use that. <laughs> we'll be right back. Don't go away. Only 60 seconds, and we'll be right back. The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach and Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. Oh, those boys are much too much. Those boys are much too much. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We're going to beat them and bust them. The bust smallest them. moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. And we are back once again wrapping up our, our discussion with Art Chaska, CEO of Suncoast Mental Health Center. We talked about that wonderful event you had with Nicole Brown Simpson's sister who came and spoke and how she did make peace out of chaos. You're going to have another event, but before we talk about the, novent, uh, the event in November, in October you're going to have something going on. We are, you know, and this is um, about a year ago we partnered with uh, Indian River County Sheriff Daryl Lohr and the Boys and Girls Club of mm -hmm. Indian River County and Treasure and Space Coast Radio helped us out. 
And we, we did a bullying seminar over at the Performing Arts Center at uh, Vero Beach High School. And it was great. We looked at bullying from the law enforcement, oh. uh, education, and the schools. I, I almost left out the, uh, that the, the school district uh, director of student services, Dr. Lillian Torres Martinez, spoke. And, for, and, and bullying from the mental health perspective. Oh, and boy, we had a yes. licensed counselor speak. Well, we're going to do that again um, in October. And the date is October 8th, and it's a Thursday evening. And this year it's going to be up at Sebastian River Middle School. Terrific. And joining that collaboration, all of the same ones, but we're also adding Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Good. is going to be part of that group too. So we're going to talk about bullying, which is such an important topic for the kids today. You know, it just, it just blows my mind, the different things that are happening. And now, of course, making the effort as you are with Suncoast Mental Health Center and certainly our Moonshot Moment, the Learning Alliance and so many things. And yet it takes, what do we say, it takes a village, it takes family, it takes neighbors, it takes relatives to really be aware of all of this. Your event though in November, you have a very dynamic speaker coming in. We, we are so excited. You know, following Tanya Brown, we thought this is not going to be an easy task for us to bring in a, another great speaker on mental health. Yeah. Because there's not a lot of people who will go up there and stand on a stage and say, I suffered from depression, I had a suicide attempt, but here's what I did and here's what we all can do to be better. Um, this year's speaker at Finding Peace Amid the Chaos is a lady named Kathy Cronkite. Oh, and she boy. is the daughter of Walter Cronkite. And Kathy Cronkite was an actress herself. She was in several big name movies back more in the 70s and 80s. Um, she is a mental health advocate and an author. And she wrote a book called On the Edge of Darkness. Oh boy. And it's amazing because she shares <coughs> her mental health um, uh, disorder and issues. But she also interviews lots of other famous people in her book. Mike Wallace from 60 oh, yes. Minutes, Kitty Dukakis, among others. So, and, and I've, I've watched her speak um, uh, several times, really articulate, intelligent, and driven And she's Walter lady. Cronkite's daughter? Exactly. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. She lives over in Austin, Texas right mm -hmm. now. And um, so we're, we're just so thrilled that she's going to speak Friday, November 13th up at Grand Harbor. Um, so we're real excited about that. Well, Art, how would people make a reservation for that? Is there a website we can go to? Yeah, our website is suncoastmentalhealth.org. Um, I would love people to give me a call if they have some more interest or questions about mental health in general. Oh, yes. Um, my office uh, is at 772-489-4726. Terrific. And they can reach me there or our Facebook page, Suncoast Mental Health Center. Lots of good info there. And I guess what we've always said that if you see something or someone behaving a little untoward or maybe just even a recluse, you never know what's going on. And let's, let's solve all of these horrendous things that are happening by being aware and knowing that there is help. And of course, with our Suncoast Mental Health Center, great opportunities. Once again, the website suncoastmentalhealth.org. And then Facebook is Suncoast Mental Health Center, just those four words. And, or give me a call, I'll be happy to pass that on to 489-4726. And it's listed as Suncoast Mental Health Center. Yeah. Oh boy, thanks so very much for coming Thank on. You, I think there's a lot of hope and a lot of light at the end of the tunnel now because we, I always say just turn the news off. Oh, don't want <laughs> Jeff Vogel to hear me say that, but sometimes we want to have good news and that's what this Buzz TV is all about. We're going to be very positive and give you lots of hope right here on, on Marsha, 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 as a matter of fact. Thanks so much for being Thank with you, us. Thank you, Marsha. Appreciate it. And thanks to all of you for watching the show. And remember, if you have something you'd like to talk about, by all means, call us right here at buzztv.com. That's right here. We'll be delighted to have you sitting right here in that chair. And I think I'm about out of time. So we'll see you next time. This new mom is struggling to get the skates just right. Now she's holding on for dear life. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of siblings in foster care will take you just as you are. Advertise your business on Buzz TV. Email buzztvnetwork at gmail.com or call 772-777-1382.